Now the truth is that the Thermarest Neo Air series, whether it's the X Lite, the Uber Lite, the X Therm, or whatever other Neo Air series Thermarest make, is arguably the most commonly used piece of gear amongst backpacker and canoe campers. Yet nobody buys its most useful accessory. I am so past the years of pulling out the tough men card and being like, I don't need a camp chair when I go out backcountry camping. This is so <laughs> something you do when you're in your 20s. By the time you get to your 30s, there's a lot of things that change. And one of them is that you will not sacrifice comfort. And honestly, nowadays, with the technology that we have available to us, some of these camp chairs are so light. In fact, for all of you ultra lighters out there, since you're already carrying an Thermarest Neo Air Uber Light or X Light or X Therm, all you have to do is add half a pound to your setup and you've got what, in my opinion, is probably the most comfortable chair for the backcountry. And this chair, although it's a little finicky at first to try to dial in and properly so you're comfortable in it, it's super easy to set up. All you have to do is inflate your sleeping pad as you would usually. And I know that in some places online it'll say to inflate it a little less. I prefer to inflate it all the way through to get me started because it makes it a lot easier to basically take the chair now and fit the thermarest, the sleeping pad, through the chair. Once you've done this, you buckle the middle. And then after that, this is when you might wanna let a little bit of air out uh, so that you can actually do the last two steps. You fold the foot end of it back on itself. And again, online, some people will fold it from underneath. Some people will fold it over top. I like personally to fold it over top myself. And if you stick around, I'll actually tell you why in a little bit. And then all you gotta do is then buckle both sides and you're good to go. Now, probably the number one reason why people shy away from a chair like this one, it's because you're sitting low to the ground. And for a lot of people, that's hard to sit down this low and get up. Like I said earlier, this chair will require you to kind of figure out your system and how you like to be comfortable. So it'll take you a couple of tries, but once you've dialed it in, it is arguably the most comfortable camping chair you can get. And the best way to get up in this chair is not to try to lunge forward, but rather to roll sideways and this is how you can easily get up without it being too much work. So you can just kind of get off. And same thing when you want to get in, if you just kind of roll in, it's a lot easier than just kind of try to go forward, squat, and then back down. Now, the other thing I mentioned earlier is that myself, I prefer to fold the foot end over rather than under. And the reason why I like to do that myself is I like to sometimes just let kind of a little bit of the top out, get out a bit more. And it allows for me to have a bit more of a rise underneath my knees here and it helps me rest my lower back as well. The only downfall to that is honestly after an hour or two this pad will keep sliding out and come out but all you got to do is every hour and a half or two kind of readjust it. It's not a big deal but you also don't have to use it like that and it'll never happen. Another reason why people might be might shy away from using this trekker chair is that they would be afraid of damaging their sleeping pad. First off the Neo Air series is one of the most indestructible sleeping pad I have ever used myself. I mean I just put this on rocks on pine needles and and it never punctures. Same thing with the X-Therm. I know the Uber Light is a lot more fragile because it's just made out of much thinner material, but honestly, overall, they're really, really robust. And on top of that, you're not sitting on your sleeping pad. You have this really nice material underneath it protecting it uh, from getting punctured as well. So you really don't have to worry too much about this. Where this chair shines the most by far is the fact that because you're using it with your sleeping pad, this is the warmest camping chair that you'll ever have because it'll match the R value of your sleeping pad. So right now I'm on the x Lite. I've sat in a t-shirt around a campfire mid-September sitting on this very chair and not needed to wear anything else. The new air sleeping pads are really warm and they reflect the heat right back at you. And it just makes it so comfortable to not be cold at night around the campfire. Because if you've seen anyone else use a regular camping chair like the Hillinox Zero or whatever other more conventional camping chair that you'll see, everybody uses an ass pad in it. And the reason why they do that, it's because they get cold. They get cold in their lower back and their butts because there's nothing insulating them here. With this chair, I've got a windproof at the back because of the sleeping pad. 
and I've got the R value of this sleeping pad literally radiating heat back at me, making it such a warm and comfortable chair. And if you pair this with the X-Term in the winter time, this is where it just blows your mind because you can be sitting in your tent, drinking your coffee, you cook in your vestibule maybe, you make your dry food, your breakfast, you're eating, you're sitting in your tent on your X-Term where you're nice and toasty and you can actually rest your back after a long day of hiking in the winter time. And you can also just take it outside, sit around a campfire the same way. Or if you don't like to sit low to the ground in the winter time, you can actually just make yourself a snowbank and sit on the snowbank with this very chair with your X term. It's by far the most comfortable way to hang out at camp. And at the end of the night, when you want to go to sleep, all you got to do is bring this into your tent, undo the buckles, kick out the bottom part. You leave it on, really. Uh, you're probably going to want to give it a couple of breaths here to however firm you like it. If you want, you can take the buckle out. I usually don't even take it out. I don't even notice it. You sleep on it, and when morning comes, all you do is you kind of, well, I think you figured it out by now, but you just reassemble it real quick. Clip. Clip. Let some air out. Fold it over top or underneath, whatever way you prefer. And, you're ready for coffee. This is what the Trekker chair looks like when it's packed away in its stuff sack. It's rather small, but it can't be compressed more than this because it does have two carbon rod in it to provide some rigidity, but it's really easy to pack. You can easily strap this outside of your backpack with no problem. Even if it gets wet, it's gonna dry pretty fast. For me, I've been sliding it inside of my big uh, canoe bag or even inside of my backpack. It's worked really well, very easy to put away. If you're interested in this chair, I'll leave the links in the description below as well. If you wanna find out more about the Neo Air series, I have made a review about the Neo Air X-Therm for the winter. I'll leave a link right up here. When I get around to doing the X light review, I'll put it right below here. And for now, I've got to go and finish my run. So I will see you as always in the next video. Peace.